the oysters are underwater. Here we go. So I'm going to show you island is right over here. This is where we were. I did this in episode 80, but here's here's a better this is better quality and more constant. But if you look, look at this, everyone. The swimming enclosure is completely emptied. It's like almost empty. You can see right here. They've got things there. This is, look at the swimming enclosure, it's quite a small enclosure, isn't it? Very little, very little room to swim in this one at this time. So low out. The tide out here is incredibly low. And I think the oysters, yeah there's oysters as well over here, down at this level here. I think over here there's some oysters, I think I see some oysters on that row, on those rocks. Yeah, I think there I think there's oysters on those rocks. Yeah, this is the little enclosure. Actually, wonder if there it is. Look at this. Look at that islanders. I have no idea what that even is. If you others can help me figure out what that is, greatly appreciated. I'm going to look at the community notice board and then we'll... and then I'll have to end the recording there for now. Until we get to the mainland. Prep the new child start prep in 2021. Okay, now let's see what do we have here. Yeah. Yeah, is it pulled in? Oh, there we go, that's what I wanted to see. Thursday and Friday, 8 30 to 1 30. Excellent. Okay, that's all I needed to see. I'll see you islanders on the mainland. Okay, here we are. Redland Bay. There's some oysters there. Look at the sky, it's overcast over here at Redland Bay. We just have to keep going through here. We'll see you when we're near the location. All right, everyone. Or oh, Islanders, I should rather say. We are here at the Trinder Park Rest Time, or in Woodridge actually, most rather. That's the time at home. So I'm just going to go on the footpath here and go back to my dad. And yes, everyone, my dad's going to be pretty much the character from this point. And hopefully everything will be almost back to the way it used to be. Except for me, I won't be living with my mum anymore. I'm going to live with my dad until I, until I can find somewhere to be, to live for the remainder of my life. Okay. So, alright, well I'm back. Took me a bit of a while, but I got out. I eventually made it back. Good. 
Well, don't worry, tonight we'll be under the air, cool air con. And that'll be good, won't it? Well, Islanders, it's been really good having to be here. But, um, it's time to close the book on Logan City and move on to the Bay Islands. Right, yeah, that's everything else. Got the air conditioners in the back there. Mine and my dad's. Mine, mine's a 2.9 kilowatt, his is a 4.3. kilowatts that is because um, it is because we've got different sized rooms he's got a bigger room than I do so yeah so now we're heading towards Redland Bay now right right okay well I'll see you Islanders later. Look at this Islanders, they are having, they are putting pillars up. Yeah, they're building, they're building very cool looking, they're putting pillars up. Pillars are up. They're putting a they're putting a, a, a high wall over there. It's going to look spectacular once it's finished. Yep, that's exactly where we're heading to right now. I guess everyone, this is what it looks like here. It's good. So this is what it looks like before, or during construction actually. probably like 10 years time it probably will be done yeah you just seen what it looks like during construction and that's exactly what it looks like that's exactly it following it exactly to the letter and that's the end see you on this later There's no one there. All right, Islanders, and we're along Old Cleveland Road now, on route to Capalabar in Cleveland, which are six for Capalabar, twelve for Cleveland. And uh, so the one is it. So we're at the finale right there. We've got both the air conditioners. Was a nightmare to get, obviously. Not so much for the first one, but my one. Nightmare. Yes, but now we've made it. Oh, yes, but 
but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Old Cleveland Road here. And this is my dad's area. He knows this area. But back when he was a, you already know the story. I told you. I told you in episode eight. So you already know the story. I told you guys in episode eight about this, the story of how my dad would know this area because he's very familiar with it. He actually does know the area, so. I'm not going to bore you guys with the story again. It's just go straight ahead. The journey must go on, so I'll see you on this later on. Are you sure you Islanders understand what's going on here? Because I know a lot of you Islanders do live on the mainland. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. We've got a whole cup, like a full few K of cars taking up all the entirety of that road over there. We're right next to the Capella Bar park shopping center but look over there yet yeah, there is like three kilometers of traffic right in front of us this is unbelievable all of that traffic right there that, all of that traffic right there is a waste of space oh yeah we will be we will be coming. come on dipstick Thanks a lot, dip What in the hell's going on? I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. What is this? Oh, come on! Are you serious? <sighs> this is the worst road system in the world. Whoever is responsible for these roads, I'll be filing a complaint. Have hey, whoever is responsible for these sacked. Oh, you got to be... You get one, you get all of them. Exactly. Very well synchronized, not. I am losing my, I am losing my sanity over this. I really am. As soon as you go into one, you're going to all of them. The lead developer of these roads needs to be sacked. And everyone that that worked on it. The traffic is so heavy here, it is unbelievable. Absolutely ridiculous. It's going to be one of the most poorly built roads. Yes, Islanders, I'm trying to keep my cool here. And, uh, you have got to be on the set. No, no, that's it. Well, that can be the GPS for this point here, because I have had it. Why? Look at 
No, Islanders, I am not happy about this, and I don't think, and I don't think you should be asking my dad that question either, because I don't think he is either. He certainly isn't at this point. Look at that. You get to one, you get them all, as always. Is there ever a time when you get all the green lights? No. It don't look like it. I'll see you Islanders later. The journey must go on. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Again? How many f times? Scott, over here, come on! Oh, I believe this. Yeah, you know why I don't like coming to the mainland? I can see why you hate the mainland so much. Oh, what? We come on, we just to add that light. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, it just gives green light to all the other people, and not us. It's getting quite ridiculous. Whoever's controlling these lights, I'm going to be sacking whoever it is. Because they're giving us unfair advantage here. Here we go again. And here's another one. Round number 16. Oh, look, I can see water. Where? Straight ahead of us. Oh, don't tell me we're flooded in. Oh, we better not be flooded in. Oh, thank goodness we're not. Okay, Island, are you referring to the water all the way out there? Not the water that's here. So we're not gonna be we're not gonna be flooded in after all. Thank goodness. Truck driver taking the um the timber there is driving a bit slower than usual. I think I have a clear idea as to why below uh, the timber will fall off. Oh, well, finally, for once, we got a green light. For once. There you go, little lucky one. Keep well, Queensland. Yes, keep well, Queensland. What do you, boss? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, let's overtake these two people. They're driving too slowly. The person in the Kia was driving way too slowly, the person with the timber was driving slowly too. The good thing that we actually turned over so that we can actually move on. These people are absolutely unbelievable. And the journey must go on, Islanders. Alright, Islanders, that is the last of the traffic lights.
time for us to head back. We're heading back to the island. Looks like a fairly full wide load, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, but we booked the uh, the next ours is twenty minutes away. I'm going to take the keys with me too. Alright Islanders, later. Yes everyone, as you can see right here, that's the water right here that's coming over from over there, over at the bay there. I um, actually wanted to see if... Um, oh, where's, that, where's that vehicle going? Might not be here for a while. Maybe if I run to the boat ramp, maybe I can find out. I'll just take a little run to the boat ramp. We'll just, we'll just quickly, briefly go to the boat ramp and see if there's, see if, see if the, um, see if this links to the, uh, to the vast bay out there. And then we'll, and then I'll head back to the car, and I'll see you Islanders on the island again. Because I'm, I'm not going to film on the vehicle ferry, just out of respect for, um, for the crew, they, they do a good job. Really friendly staff, uh, and I don't want to ruin my reputation because my reputation has already been ruined with uh, with other companies that I won't name. Those companies, they know who they are. That's why I'm not naming names because those companies know who they are, and I'm not going to let them do that to me. I'm not going to expose them out in the cold either. Um, yeah, it actually is connected. It actually somehow interconnected. This is where it is. It's actually interconnected here. But there's a rock with oysters. Not that many oysters though, but there is a rock there. And I think I'm seeing shells and oysters. Over there. This is what it is with, the, with everything. There's like oysters everywhere. So uh, yeah. I just found out it's connected here. Alright everyone. I'm going to go back to the car now. And very soon we'll be back at Russell Island. <laughs> I just waited for you guys to say it. Alright. Alright Islanders. Keep it real. I'll, sh I'll see you all at Russell Island. See ya! Oh yeah it is. Look at how high the water is now everyone. Look at that. Over there we've got a swimming enclosure filled with water. Yes it is. Isn't that interesting? Right well we are home Islanders at last. Got our air cons. What's going on? So 
I'll see you Islanders when we approach the house. Okay, we're approaching closer to the homestead. And yes, we've actually had a bit of a bit of sea we had a bit of salt water. Let me hit our window. Our windshield window, so it may look a little chewy. What about then? What is it about them and cement building? What is it about next door and cement building? Because that's what because that's what I heard you say. Doesn't matter what they're up to. I was talking to the islanders, is what I was talking to. I wasn't talking to you, wasn't talking about the neighbours, I was just talking to you islanders. Right, I'm going to show you the islanders, the air conditions that we have, and then I'm going to be using two hands to bring them up. So, that's when I'll finish recording. So we'll just wait for the special key. Oh, leave it there. We'll do it in the morning, Mike. In the morning? All right, perfect. Yeah, it'll all be, it'll all be here by morning. Let's go on up. I'm exhausted anyway. Yes, yes, please do so. I'll be heading inside, so... So I'm going to just going to go take a leak and I will be probably taking care of myself. So yes everyone. Yeah, this is where I'm home to now. So family, here you are. This is where I am. Because I know that some of you family do watch Island Live so so here you go, this is, this is where I live, this is my new quarters, my new living quarters. Not sure where the air conditioner is going to go though, but I will figure that out tomorrow. And I'm not sure how long I've been filming today, but it's a pretty big day, so I do have a few things though. I've got a stubby holder, I've got a microphone, and a pen. And that's all, yep, that's all that's in that pocket. Just got two, I've just got uh, Oppo in my other pocket. Right, well, thanks all for watching this episode of Island Life. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!